Mm. You know, of course, I, if you've heard me say it once, I said it a thousand times, uh, that truth is often a hard pill to swallow. Uh, yet and still, it's the type of pill that we need to be taking on a daily basis. And that's just the truth. Um, I know it's a very painful thing to uh, realize that we've been lied to. And we've literally been lied to all our life because a lot of times, you know, after we become a certain age, we accept ownership. Uh, we accept ownership and personal responsibility um, because we can't believe that we had, we've actually got the audacity to be deceived. And it's a train wreck. It literally It's a bad experience. I'm getting a lot of questions asking me about the Lord's Day. You know, that's how uh, Christians term it. They call it the Lord's Day. And um, so some time ago, I did an extensive um, teaching. It's really not that extensive. I just stopped assembly service one day and went ahead and answered a question for a lot of people some time ago. And I'm just going to actually upload you what I said. And, um, and I hope that you enjoy it. Um, but I'll tell you what, who the enemies that are coming this way. Enemies of the truth. I mean, it's just remarkable and amazing. No matter, no matter the amount of evidence that amounts, and uh, and no matter the the amount of clear evidence that I present, um, I've learned over the years that if you don't have a spirit of truth, then you can't hear, you can't embrace it. That's all there's to it. You would take tradition of men over facts and over truth every single time. So when you read the Bible. I mean, check it out. Think for yourself. Does it talk about Sunday or does it talk about the Sabbath? Does it talk about the seventh day or does it talk about the first day? Which What does it talk about? I mean, it's the same. It's consistent from Genesis to Revelation. It really truly is. But man, I tell you, I, these Christians, whoo, boy, I have been getting an influx in, of people just literally blasting me. I mean, left and right. So I'll let you people be the judge. That's why, Pastor, I'll tell you, you better come out of them things. Because if these people have this kind of attitude, nature, and spirit, you really, truly need to come out of them. Now, I make no qualms and no apologies about it whatsoever at all. I, I despise the religion of Christianity because it is a religion. Um, and because I say that does not mean that I'm speaking against Jesus. Because Jesus was not a Christian. Is that hard to understand? But nevertheless, we're going to make an attempt here to explain to you what the Bible says is the Lord's day. I hope that you have the ears to hear. If you have the spirit of truth, you will hear. And um, when you hear this, hopefully this will put to rest um, this Sabbath Sunday thing. Because I'm only going to use the book. That's it. I'm not just, just nothing but the book. And then you decide which one. Because these people have not a leg to stand on with this so-called Sunday first day um changing of the commandment service. They have they have no authority whatsoever for it at all. Now if you are a Christian, you have authority because your authority is derived from Rome. It comes from the Roman Catholic Church. So if that's what you are, then you need to obey Rome. But those of us who are believers in the Messiah, Yahshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, we're going to follow the Bible in the book. We're going to do what he did. And we're going to follow what the ancients the apostles and prophets did. So it is really no big deal. It's, it's really not hard to figure out what you have at all. So give an ear in here. Um, hopefully you'll be blessed by this. And if you are, pass it around so that others can have the ability to have their eyes open and their ears um, able to hear also. Take a, a good look. Let's go into the tabernacle. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. But anyway, you know, we get a lot of interest, you know, in, into what we're doing, whatever that is. I like to consider it serving God. Um, but I had another question again proposed to me, um, again, about the simplest subject that there is in the world. The Sabbath day, again, again. And the way that the guy approached me was, he says, um, Pastor Dow, you are in error. You are a good Bible preacher and teacher. But you are in error about this Sabbath day thing. Sunday is the Lord's day. That's what he said. Now what's appalling to me is, is that all you people out there act like that we've never once attended church on Sunday or even believed that. I mean for over 25 years of my life, that's all I did do and believe. You understand what I mean? But if we're, we're here in this life. And the idea is us to come to the knowledge of the truth and when we have the truth presented to us, to do something about it. 
You know, we can do like a lot of people do, get, you know, become very apathetic, complacent in our attitudes, and just not do anything about it when truth is presented to us. Some people do decide to take that. You know, you tell somebody the truth, and they, okay, all right, I'm not going to do anything about it. But we choose to do something about it. So years ago, I chose to do something about it. That's the reason why that the majority of you, now you understand that we are not the only people in the world that keep the Sabbath. Y'all do know that, right? Y'all know that, right? Um, but what we're going to have to do here just for a brief moment, just for a brief moment before we get to worship of God, is we're going to see what the Bible has to say and not what I have to say. Now, my question to everyone out there is, is first of all, number one, show me a place where God or Jesus or any apostles repealed his holy Sabbath day. Isn't that a fair question? Anywhere in the scriptures at all. Where they've changed it, done away with it. Now, the Bible does tell us that our God is consistent. Is that right? He's the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. In other words, he never changes. The way he is now, he's going to be that way forever throughout all of eternity. That's the good thing about God. Not like us. We change. Oh, Lord, do we have changes that go on in us? Whoo, boy, I got changes, man. Stuff I deal with and especially some of these feelings and emotions I try to make sense of. And, you know what I mean? It's to try to understand. And, boy, do we change. Don't we change? So I got Brother Rich up here reading. You got a mic, brother? Can you read into it? Is that mic on? It ain't on. All right, now it's on. All right. Hallelujah. So what we're going to do is we're going to just let the Bible speak for a moment. First thing we're going to do is going to read the commandment. Exodus chapter 20, verses 8 through 11. We're going to read the commandment. And we're going to let the Bible do the talking. And all the scriptures I'm going to provide to us is going to come strictly from the Bible. We don't have two or three hours to deal with this subject. But what we're going to deal with is what they say is the Lord's day. They say Sunday is the Lord's day. So the angle of attack is going to be what day is the Lord's day according to what the Bible says. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? All right. And then I hope that he has some type of integrity in him that he will come back and show me in the Bible what day that they say that the Lord day is. I just happen to agree with what the word says, okay? All right. Go ahead, Brother Rich. Exodus 20, verses 8 through 11. And this is God. Remember, Not Moses doing the talking. This is God doing the talking. All right, read. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Now notice it says what? Remember. That means in order for you to remember something, something that had to already be instituted. Isn't that right? It didn't say forget the Sabbath. Brother Ed, hallelujah. It says, remember the Sabbath. Read on. Six days shalt thou labor. How many days are you supposed to labor? Six days shalt thou labor. Is that right? And if you want to know what day the Sabbath is, you have no further. God has always had, the Jews has always been God's people. Israel's always been God's people. See what day they keep. You know, this nonsense of the Christians have Sunday for the Sabbath and the Jews have Saturday for the Sabbath. That's nonsense. There's only one God. He don't make a law, a set for the Gentiles and a set for the Jews. He created one human race. He created all nations by one blood. So therefore he has one set of commandments for all of us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No, the commandments wasn't created for dogs. There's no commandment that dogs can't commit adultery. And you know, dogs, if, if they had it by the same laws that we walk by, they, they done broke that commandment a thousand times over. Because a dog would just do anything, won't they? Amen. Read on. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. Mm -hmm. But the seventh day. But the what day? Seventh day. He's defining it then, isn't he? Read on. Is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Ah, key words. The seventh day is the Sabbath of who? The Lord thy God. Now, mind you, now what day did he say is the Sabbath day? And it's the Sabbath of who? He didn't say Sunday. He didn't say first day. He said seventh day, didn't he? Is that right? So the first day can't be the seventh, and the seventh cannot be the first. Now, I'm making sense. Is the Bible making sense? So, so far, Sunday or the first day is not the Lord's day according to the commandment then. Is that right? Read on. In it thou shalt not do any work, mm -hmm. thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, mm -hmm. thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth. How many days did it take him to do it? You know, he could have did it all in one day, but he, he, he planned it out that way for a reason. 
Read on. The sea and all that in them is. Right. And rested the seventh day. What day did God rest? Somebody said, God don't need no rest, but that's what he said. He said he rested the seventh. Is that right? Is that right? Go ahead, read on, brother. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath Though, isn't day. Isn't that something? He blessed the Sabbath day. Not Sunday, not Monday, not Tuesday, not Wednesday, not th See, another problem is that everybody think that when you just stick with Sabbath observance, that they thinking that you can only, only worship God on the seventh day. That ain't what the Bible is all about. That is not what the Sabbath day is all about. The Sabbath day is about a day of rest. You worship God every day. Huh? Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Praise is comely for the upright. God, God, not God has never limited his people from worshiping him. Hallelujah. Isn't that right? But he says, hey, you men, if you don't work, you shouldn't eat. But what we're going to do in this society, we're going to get welfare, food stamps, and we're going to eat instead of working, ain't we? Not here, you ain't. You're going to work. <laughs> the men going to work. Ain't that right? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, boy, somebody said, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Isn't that what the Bible says? Amen. A man don't work, he shouldn't eat. Isn't that the truth? All right. So, read on. Wherefore the Lord blessed He blessed the Sabbath it day and read on. And hallowed it. And he hallowed it. Now watch this. Watch this. You ain't finished with it. Go to Genesis, the second chapter, verses 1 through 3. Now, y'all listen to this real quick. I hope y'all getting this out there. Maybe I won't get no more questions about the Sabbath day again. Does that mean minutes I got left, brother, saying? All right. Read on. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished. If you read Genesis, the first chapter, you'll see all this creation that God did. Believe it or not, you know, Jesus has made the Bible, the scripture, so easy that even a child can understand it. He even tells us in his word, suffer not the little children for such is the kingdom of God. The, I mean, the children understood Jesus. It's not hard. It, ain't comp it is not complicated at all. It's really that simple. But read on. And all the host of them. And on the seventh day, God ended his work. God ended his work on what day? The seventh no. day. He ended his work on the... On the read it. Start day. from the beginning again. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished. Finished. And all the host of them. All and on the seventh day, on the seventh day, God ended his work which he had made and rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. If God rested on the seventh day, what do you think he's going to have his creation to do? Thank you very much. Read on. That's right. And God blessed the seventh day. There it is again. He blessed the seventh day again. Read on. The seventh. And sanctified and it. And sanctified it means he set it apart from all other days. Read on. Because that in it, he rested from all his works. He rested from all his works. Read on. Which God created God and made. God created and made. Isn't that something? So therefore, we, we have read over in Exodus 20, verse 8 through 11, that the Sabbath is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. He blessed and hallowed. He blessed and hallowed, sanctified, even rested on this one. Isaiah 58, verse 13. If Ooh. thou turn away thy foot turn from the away, Sabbath. Look at it. Read on. From doing thy pleasure on my holy day. Oh, wait a minute. From doing thy pleasure on what? My, my holy, holy day. day. He called the Sabbath my holy. Read on. And call the Sabbath mm. a delight. Read on. The holy of the Lord. Holy of the Lord. Honorable. Honorable. And shall honor him. Honor him. Not doing thine own ways. Not doing your own ways, but no. who ways? We should be doing his ways. Isn't that right? Read on. Nor finding thine own pleasure. Don't find your own pleasure. Isn't that right? Amen. All right. Isn't that something? All right. Matthew 12, verse 8. Did you finish that verse? No, sir. Well, go ahead and finish. Nor speaking thine own words. Isn't that why you think we're here on the Sabbath day? We get finished resting and stuff like you carry on a little conversation a day like this. But we're not here to do what we want to do. That's why we set aside this time, because we can see that the history of our people, Israel, did the same thing. Is, the, is Sunday the Lord's Day? And I'm telling you, Sabbath is the Lord's Day. I believe that the Scripture can define its own self. 
The scripture don't need the commentaries. And you know, it don't need another man's thought of opinion. God knows how to define himself. Just why we got the, the apostles and the prophets. For the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath day. Brother, brother Ed, could you read Matthew 12, 8, please? Yes, sir. For the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath day. But it said that the Son of Man is what? Lord even of the Sabbath Lord, day. Lord even of the Sabbath day. What translation you got? That's King James. Yes, sir. But it tells you right there that the Son of Man is Lord even of the what day? Of the Sabbath Is that not clear? Day. Hallelujah. Jesus saying this. The Savior of the world. The Son of Man is Lord even of the so the Sabbath is the Lord's Day. Isn't that right? Mark 2, 27. Isn't that right? How are we doing? Mark 2, verse 27. Let's hear what the Word says. Who's doing the talking? Jesus. Jesus is. I think that's enough authority, don't you? Mm -hmm. Read on. <laughs> and he said unto them. Jesus said. The Sabbath was made for man. The Sabbath was made for who? Man. That don't mean, you didn't make the Sabbath. God made it for you. Man. You hear that, brother Ed? All right. You hear that, Dad Mix? Dad Mix said, hallelujah. The Sabbath was made for, Man. who's doing the talking? Jesus. Jesus is. Savior of the world. I believe there's only one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. I think Jesus, I think, hey, Jesus is all in all. Yes, sir. One who saved me. And is still saving me. Hallelujah. Help me be saved from my sin. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, even of the... Read that. Read verse 27 again. The Sabbath was made for man. Who was Sabbath made for again? Man. Read on. And not man for the Sabbath. How is that complex? Do I need all your degrees, Sister Bob, to understand that? No, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just an uneducated, dumb man, and I can understand that. Read on. Therefore, the Son of Man is Lord also of the Sabbath. Does that make sense? Therefore, the Son of Man is Lord also of the... Now, all, for all you people out there still listening to this, Revelation 1.10, all you people out there still listening to this, I want you to do yourself a favor. And... Hey, I'll, I'll be glad if you do. Make sure that every verse that we're giving you here, that you read a little bit before and a little bit after. Read it in context. And don't believe what any man tells you, but believe what the Word says. Read what the book says. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is that sound, is that sound advice? If the book says it, believe it. You know how many people have died and given their life for this Word right here? You understand there used to be a time in history where people couldn't sit here in this assembly and actually have this book in their hand, but they used to have to trust the priest and, and their interpretation and what they had to say about it. Yep. And now here we are at the end of time, right on the brink of end of time, and, and, and almost every believer has opportunity to have this book in their hand. Same book that the clergy has. A lot of blood been shed over this book. A lot of people's lives have been changed and saved. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I believe the book. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every, every word. word that proceed out of the mouth of God. Amen. Isn't that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Revelation 1.10. I was in the Spirit. Ha! Ah, he was the in the Lord's Spirit. Day. On what day? On the Lord's Day. So now we know what day is the Lord's Day. We crawled from Genesis to Revelation. Hallelujah. And that's, brother, so that's only just a drop in the bucket. The scriptures just, I told you, y'all don't have four or five hours. Y'all get wore out. But I could sit up here for another three hours alone just teaching on this subject. And have him to read it. Hallelujah. We bless the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a hand praise. Thank you. We hope that y'all get understanding from this.